cheating wife tried to ruin my life, so I ruined hers. Now, when I'm rich and banging hot as, she wants me back. Basically I need advice other than the regular get a lawyer and divorce tomorrow. I caught my wife of 4 years cheating and I had to confront her the second I found out. She did not show any remorse and has no guilt for what she did. Yeah this is the worst part. I found a text even saying that she does not feel guilt. At first I felt relieved and was done with her but now I'm feeling extremely angry that she didn't feel remorse. The past 5 days have been absolute hell since I found out and I have played so many different tapes through my head. I will most likely do a non-contested divorce, however we are both on non-speaking terms. She's still staying at the house in one of the spare bedrooms and living like nothing ever happened. Meanwhile my whole life is flipped upside now. I can't eat, I walk outside all day, and write to try and get my head right, but I'm still suffering extremely and my heart literally feels broken. I was thinking, for those of you who have cheated and never felt guilty, did you feel guilt later on? How many days, years later? If you didn't what would have made you feel it? Also some people are really messed up and think by cheating they are trying to fix the marriage or end it. Insane but I've seen some people rationalize it. Is it a good idea to try and make them jealous or make them want you again? It seems like when someone cheats and doesn't feel guilt there's no hope reconciling. While people who show remorse it's easier to forgive them. What can I do to make her want me again? I'm just curious because I have no clue. The reason why she cheated was lack of attention, praise and and felt abused and she resented me. This is her words not mine. But a lot of this is way overblown and we never fought in our marriage. Some relevant comments. You must be traumatized OP and her reaction is staggering. I'm guessing there have been problems in the marriage for quite some time. Is there zero contact with the affair partner AP? I don't know the circumstances, if they work together for example, but there is no hope of reconciliation if contact remains. She may well be in a fair fog, limerence when the cheater romanticizes the AP unrealistically and believes they are in love. It is rarely real because affairs are not real-life relationships with real-life responsibilities. This is also a point when the cheater rewrites the history of their marriage to make it sound bad enough to justify the affair. So then what doesn't work? Playing the pick-me dance. It will damage your self-esteem and you'll never feel secure if she does stay. You are the prize, not the cheater. They're already damaged goods and reconciliation is a gift from the betrayed. Don't forget this. Continuing contact with the AP. What may work? Telling the other betrayed partner if the AP has one. In fact, they always deserve to know. Telling family and friends. She has to face up to the damage she's doing to get to the shame phase. Asking her to move out. Gray rocking her. Google it. When you start speaking again as you will have to eventually. Getting your ducks in a row by seeing a lawyer to work out the financials. You don't have to file immediately. Focusing on yourself ironically may wake her up. Eat clean. Drink water. Exercise. Meet friends and confide in the best one. Get yourself some counseling. This is a very real trauma OP and you need it. You can get more support on the sub support for the betrayed. If reconciliation is on the cards then, it's a recon sub only, as one after infidelity has great support. This is the worst of times OP but believe me this too will pass. I've been there. I'm sending you strength and courage. P.S. I did two years of recon when my hubby cheated on me with the same woman for five years. In the end, he never cheated again, I walked away. Met a true prince and remarried. My ex has never settled and to this day still tries to get me back. Go figure. OP says, I looked at the dates when texts started with AP I however haven't had the nerves or stomach to read it all. I start shaking. They met mid-April and started texting right when we got into a big fight and didn't talk. So we decided on couples counseling. They had already met before the counseling and right around my birthday. She hasn't been the same the past two weeks. Wouldn't look at me and was very cold. I don't know how many times or what but they digital flirted a lot. I have his name and address. After she got caught she didn't leave the house and it seemed like she was scared or maybe I scared her because she knew I'd find out. However fast forward to yesterday she was gone a long time and I'm afraid that she might still be seeing him I don't know. I will start knowing around Saturday if she goes to his house or stopped. This isn't the worst part about all this. I just want her to stop if she hasn't. But the problem if she did stop I wouldn't believe her anyway. I sent all texts last night right before she came home laying down boundaries and saying if she comes home late I will kick her out. Her mom and some friends know about the affair, but she probably told them it's all my fault. I saw that she wrote to her mom she didn't feel guilty during the affair. So I do wonder if that keeps her from it also, and just the whole pile of crap it caused and the PR mess because she's a semi-public figure. Edit, I looked up Grey Rock and I don't know how well it would work in our situation. We already have a problem with communication and haven't spoken in 5 days and didn't speak for weeks last month. 
She has been gray rocking me as a defense mechanism for some time now and it's all part of her new personality. If we start talking and if I reply with one word answers she might think I'm just being an idiot which is why she's leaving in the first place. Hem, there's a lot not known yet OP. How long has it been going on for example? You found the texts mid-April. If it began then, it's very recent, but there may well be a lot of deleted stuff. Is it an emotional affair yeah? Or both yeah and PA, physical affair? Digital flirting is more about lust as painful as that is. Do you have access to her phone, apps, email? Can you see deleted messages? I totally get how shaky you feel and how sickening this is. Betrayal is earth shattering but you do need to know what you're facing here. I know you had a big fight and it seems she started texting right after. But he didn't just come from out of the blue, conveniently there to comfort her after a fight surely. I'm guessing here but I feel it may be someone she works with. How do they know each other? Crucial. And where did they meet? Knowledge is power here as is knowing if he has a partner. I hate to say it but they often become cold after an affair turns physical as a way to assuage their guilt. I think her being a while certainly suggests she was seeing him. If she's a semi-public figure she is useless at her own PR, sorry OP. Giving you the silent treatment is threatening to blow everything up. Silence does not make for resolution one way or the other. Her words to her mom I would take with a large dose of salt. Sounds like self-justifying bravado to me. Cheaters lie OP that's what they do. They lie to all around them and to themselves. I would take a dim view if her mom condones it. As a mother myself, I wouldn't. This is adultery. You need more info on the affair origin and whether he has a partner IMO. Is the house apt in both names? OP says, the texts start mid-April and they literally start with it was nice meeting you. So it had to have been the first text. I think she met him at an event or with her friend group but there was flirting going on. Like I said I would rather not look into this guy right now, I have enough pain as it is, but I will when the time comes. I don't have access to them anymore. According to her messages, he isn't married, that's what she said to mom. It seemed like something was missing, or I'm missing something though, I don't know what yet, I'm trying really hard not to get hung up on it right now. She might have had affairs before I don't know, it all started with her new career. Her mom was surprised and was against it but was pushing for us to divorce and saying she can say I emotionally abused her. Her mom is horrible and my mom would never say things like that about my wife to me. We're culturally different families. I know where he lives and I'm very good at finding out info on anyone. And my wife always said I should have worked for some three-letter agency. I will know if she goes to see him again. I won't say how but I will know from now on and if she visits again then there's no reconciliation. Last night I had a suspicion again and felt like she might have gone to see him because she came back late again. But in my heart I felt more distressed and I texted her and told her to stop disrespecting me and my boundaries or she will be kicked out and I have little patience left. We have no home, no assets. She spends all her money and I'm the only one with money. We kept our finances separate, her request. I think she would agree with no contest divorce. Well I think all betrayed spouses have the right to join the three-lettered agency to be honest. It's your life and marriage the cheater is blowing up. Life 360 is a gift that keeps on giving. She is having a mental health crisis if she's willing to tear your lives apart OP for a relationship of mere weeks. Has she asked for a divorce before? As shaky as you feel you really need to sit down with a trusted friend and go through things. How healthy has the marriage been? How much do you have in common? People change over time. Was she a safe partner from the beginning? You mentioned she may have had affairs before, so there were obviously some red flags. Do you honestly see yourselves growing old together? Are there children involved? The job may be causing a disconnect but there may have been communication issues before. I'm playing the devil's advocate here because reconciliation takes on average 2-5 years with both spouses 100% on board. It's a long painful road. The old marriage is dead. Do you, if it goes that way, have the will and strength to build a new one? This is raw and recent. You don't need to rush into anything yet and, as you say, Saturday will be revealing. You do need to eat though and talk it through with a trusted friend or family member. Your health, mental and physical, is paramount. I have no words for the mom's comment other than if that's the environment your wife grew up in it says a lot. You are 100% in your rights to set hard boundaries. Be prepared though, once an ultimatum is issued it has to be followed through. Find out if he has a partner. If she continues seeing him, I'd go scorched earth but that's just me OP. I do believe other partners need to know as their agency has been completely taken from them. I hate to say this but if there's any even tiny shred of evidence it's physical you have to do STD tests. Hang in there. Watch, wait and be vigilant. Speak to a lawyer anyway. Take care OP. OP says, I took a STD test around the time this was all happening and it was negative but I'm going to order a STD test and leave it out so she feels embarrassed. 
The marriage started out great. I wasn't fully blown head over heels for her but she was with me and she was way more compassionate and sweet. When COVID started things turned for the worst and I had a panic attack and ended up in the ER and ended up relapsing on anti-anxiety meds, I got help but she developed a big resentment against me. This period is when I feel everything went to crap. Lack of communication and she started becoming more controlling. I focused on myself but I developed resentments against her at this time and gave her less attention and buried myself deep into my business with the intention that we will work it out eventually. I saw her all day every day because we worked from home. I went back through my journal and I complained about her all the time and was clearly unhappy with her, and I knew we needed to do counseling of some sort. This past year she got a new job career and was out of the house a lot and made new friends I was supportive of her, even though I knew this would be the downfall of the relationship. I got more depressed and anxious and she was out more and doing events and meeting people everywhere. She kept asking me to go to these events and I said no because it had to do with her job and I support her but I didn't want to go to her events. The lines between work and personal life got blurred. Last six months she's been working constantly and under lots of stress and so have I. I felt like she did things to spite me and stopped being caring and just became a nasty resentful person towards me. We got into a big fight and we went to counseling one time and she said I need it more and she didn't. I kept going to therapy while she kept making excuses not to go. She said she had friends and kept talking about how great all her friends are. I started not caring at all and got depressed because I felt like our marriage was failing but I knew if we worked on it that everything would be okay and I was ready to make the steps. Her language changed the past few months and she kept saying how we are ideologically different can't agree on things anymore, different lives, and rushed into marriage. How she sees me as a friend. I just ignored these things and said no way we will work it out. Our sex life has been horrible and the last year we only had sex maybe once every few weeks and the last two months before the affair I don't think we even got intimate once. She had gained weight, I was low libido, depressed and something about her pheromones smell changed and she smelled not good to me anymore. Like laying next to her I could smell onion or something but she was clean. She also stopped taking birth control a year ago, and I heard women can change a lot from that. So it was the perfect storm as they say. Only problem is I was perfectly ready to salvage the relationship and was willing to put huge effort into counseling and getting it all out, and here we are now. No kids by the way. I honestly don't think I could ever forgive her or trust her again. I don't think she's the same person I married and her friends and all that was always more important than family. She is also very naive. Even if we get in talking terms like it's just not possible to fix this. The damage is the worst thing that could have happened. Now everyone including my family and friends know. I won't be able to stop thinking about the other guy and her in pictures in my head. So it's over I'm just slowly moving to acceptance. Edit 1. Many have suggested kicking her out or filing divorce papers as a way to rock the boat and scare her out of the fog. If anyone else has advice like this that would be good. Edit. Yesterday she moved out and showed up with a few people to move her stuff out. It looks like she found an apartment. We talked for the first time since D-Day. And I just wanted to make a few things clear and agree on a few things. We knew exactly what was whose and what and I'll say that it went well and we agreed what pieces of furniture she would take and thankfully she took out all the stuff I secretly hated. It was a very traumatizing experience and she left without saying anything. She was laughing with her friends and acting carefree which I'm pretty sure she did on purpose. At this stage I've accepted that she doesn't like me and still resents to the point that she will disregard my feelings and such. I had to walk out because she was getting on my nerves and I was going to blow up. When she left I took a video of the result and got emotional. Edit. A few hours after she left I was so relieved that she was gone. Like a monkey got off my back and I didn't care anymore. I have been processing our whole relationship and trying to look past the affair and realize that I've wanted this escape for a long time. She almost did me a favor by GTFO. I have so many plans and ideas now and feel like I can breathe a little. I am financially free and can go and do anything I like and buy anything I like. I cleaned up the home and moved everything around. I am now going to buy all new furniture and get rid of anything that was chosen by her or anything that says her. I'm already making plans to upgrade myself and take care of myself more, like buying equipment and putting it in the room she left empty. Edit. I've been able to slowly start eating though not a lot because my stomach shrank. I watched Forgetting Sarah Marshall and it felt like literally my situation. I was laughing about it though and had a great time watching it. I thought a lot and realized that our relationship was doomed to have issues, which I was willing to work on and do everything to save it but she made the choice to destroy it because she did not want it anymore. 
She does not have the capacity to understand that things can change and people can change if you put work into it. I still spend most of the day mourning and processing the relationship that was and could have been. Do I think I could forgive and forget? It's too early to tell. Part of me wants to make her jealous and rethink her choices. I'm going to upgrade myself into the man she wanted but not allow her back into my life. If she snapped out of it all of a sudden today, I would hesitate, but maybe reconcile if enough remorse is shown. Update, just to give a little background, I found out 12 days ago my spouse has been cheating on me for at least two weeks with a guy from a class. I absolutely lost it and called her a tramp and said some very nasty things to her. I told her to leave the house also and go to her parents. She didn't leave and she went to guest bedroom and stayed there for five days. In that time she saw how it affected me and how sick I was from it all. However I didn't say a word to her in that time. I got a hold of her texts from the aftermath and she said she was scared to leave, that I would destroy her things and that she didn't feel guilty that she cheated. She let me keep our beloved pet cat who we both love more than anything on this planet. She said she would keep her promise on something I can't share on here. After five days of hell I woke up and she had some of her friends and said she was moving out. We had no issues and she left me with a lot of stuff including things she bought. When she left I felt extremely relieved because I wouldn't have to focus on her and what she was doing and was looking to the future. I have spent the last several days working on myself and really deep diving into infidelity and relationship issues. Books, podcasts, everything. At first I didn't think there's any chance to reconcile. However I feel differently now. Our marriage was dead in the water and has been dying the past two years and even I agree I was losing all feelings for her. I resented her and she resented me. I couldn't stand her anymore. Even though I'm not excusing what she did, I would be willing to talk about R. However it has been difficult since she has not shown that much remorse. But her actions are of someone who knows what they did is wrong since she is giving me full control of this situation. She might be worried of reprisal, but I'm not sure. I saw her for the first time yesterday on a Zoom call and I tried to act uplifting but I only did to save face, and because we both had to. I then emailed her a professional email and she responded also. She started cheating right before we saw a marriage counselor and continued until our second appointment. I found out the night after our second appointment and we didn't go back obviously. However I saw she was logging into the portal and was communicating with the counselor these past few days. I don't know about what though, but it gives me hope but also wondering if it's nothing. Right now she's staying by herself nearby I found out. Her AP lives 45 minutes away. I don't know if they're talking but I didn't see any texts between them two days after D-Day. She also just graduated from the place they met and won't be seeing him in that setting anymore. Again I'm being hopeful since it was short-lived and their texts were very shallow it's possible she cut it off because she's terrified of me telling people. I do not want to do the pick me dance, if anything I want to become the man she married because I feel like that is what would bring her back. But that will take lots of time, and so don't know if I will care for her by the time I'm like that again. AP was ugly, poor and broke and the fact she chose him makes me question WTF she was thinking. She is stubborn and I don't know if she will make the first move for R. It seems like she's going with what I'm suggesting but giving me options. She said we can't get divorced for at least a few months and she agreed, which gives us some time. What should I do now? Relevant comment. My advice is that you don't need to rush anything. Unless you have unusual circumstances a divorce now or in a year probably won't make any real difference. 12 days is very soon, you have a lot more emotion to go through I'm afraid. Take your time, focus on yourself and get your feet underneath you. Avoid alcohol, work off that excess anxiety with exercise and try to do some meditation. Mindfulness. Don't make decisions when you can't sleep more than 90 minutes and can't eat more than a few bites of food. OP says, I don't drink or sow substances, but my emotions have been all over the place. Every day it's something new, but this is where I am at now. I walk every day and have been eating one full meal a day for about 6 days, but I do have trouble sleeping. I still have spurts of anger or cry. Update. A lot has happened since D-Day, April 26th. Unfortunately I feel like today was an extremely emotional day for me so I need to vent and give an update. I caught my wife and someone I've been in a relationship in for 6 years betray me and have an affair. I really wanted to believe that the affair was short-lived and that she would be remorseful. I caught her having the affair about 2 weeks into it, and I had hoped seeing how much pain it put me through that she would stop, but I found out she continued seeing the AP afterwards. A few days after the affair I immediately started taking care of myself so I could survive. 
she blindsided me a couple of days after D-Day and left and took everything that was hers in the house. It was a devastating movement for me. The next few weeks I was an absolute mess, experiencing emotions I have never felt before in my life. I wanted nothing more than reconcile and have her back. While I couldn't eat or sleep she had created the victim narrative and was going out with friends and seeing AP. A few weeks after I still had hope for reconciling and that if I could only get her to understand then she would realize what she did and return. She said that she will not see me by ourselves in person and that she wants a mediator present. We started marriage counseling as soon as she started cheating, so we would meet at the counselor's sessions to talk about the marriage and practical matters. She blamed me for the affair and used every single thing that I had ever done to her, along with a bunch of non-negotiable reasons why she left and wants a divorce. At this time I still did not want to accept the situation, and thought that giving her time would change her mind. She had all the signs of a avoidant who did an exit affair. She was wanting to divorce me before the affair started and had justified it. I found a list of resentments in her notes right before she started the affair. I did no contact and would only reach out about practical things and would rarely get an answer from her. I saw she was watching my Instagram stories and showed her I was moving on, making new friends and I started taking care of myself and changing. I posted I was out at a bar and she blocked all my accounts, including anyone I knew. She started telling her friends bad things and ruining my reputation. She said I was an emotional abuser and a narcissist. It's good thing I had access to all the affair evidence and texts with her mom where she helped her craft her narrative. However, I did not tell her friends and family about the affair against everyone's advice on here. I decided that I would start moving on and even though I was in pain and thought of her 99% of the day I pushed through and didn't contact her. I finally reached the anger, resentment phase and decided I wanted to regain control. So I gave her the divorce and gave up on reconciling which helped me take my self-respect back and felt I was in control. She must have felt rejected when I set boundaries and this angered her and she became more belligerent. I didn't talk to her for weeks and decided I'd start dating and enjoying my life. But even though she acted like she wanted a quick amicable divorce and she wanted nothing from me, I had a feeling she would blindside me again. I realized that almost everything that has come out of her mouth is a lie and she will switch at the last moment and do something to hurt me. Her friends and yes men have done nothing but feed her ego and brainwashed her. It was her friends who pushed her to divorce and gave her advice and possibly start the affair. Something inside of me told me she is lying so I was able to find out she was talking to lawyers behind my back and told them she deserves financial compensation for the emotional pain I caused. I completely lost it and it was the final straw for me. I snapped and told her I will tell everyone about the affair to clear my name and reputation. Keep in mind she wanted to do things amicably. After a negotiation we agreed on a settlement we both could accept and not involve lawyers. I decided I would hold off from contacting her AP and her friends for now. She was cold and belligerent during the call. I could hear the contempt in her voice. I told her she is a completely different person who I don't know and she scuffed and gaslighted me. It seems like consequences do not work on her. Keep in mind this was the first time I told her how the affair made feel. I was angry and at the same time tired of her bringing up small things in the relationship to justify what she did. We agreed on the terms and hopefully she sticks with it. I'm sitting here now wondering what's next. I'm tired and just want her gone. I still mourn the person I knew. At this point I don't see her changing or waking up. She's gone and I've accepted it. My wife is some kind of creature wearing a skin suit pretending to be her. I'm extremely angry I have to pay her almost 50k of my hard-earned money for effing me over. Built a home gym in her former office and go out now on weekends. I do therapy, but develop PTSD. I'm trying to forget her entirely. Maybe someone can help with my increasingly erratic spouse. For the first few weeks after the affair she seemed unfazed by what she did in the affair. I saw her in person, but she seemed somewhat reserved and ashamed, sort of resentful towards me I'm guessing for catching the affair, however she was sort of normal and emotional. I know she saw AP at least once a few weeks after she left the house, right afterwards after seeing him she searched how do I know if a guy doesn't like you anymore, and he called her fruity so she was wondering what that means. I can't find any evidence that she saw him in over a month even though the evidence would be that she visited him. I noticed that the last time she saw him she started becoming more increasingly erratic and deeper in denial and blaming me significantly more. She recently has this dismissive laugh of contempt anytime I try and assert my feelings. Also she has gotten more bold and unpredictable which makes me think since wasn't seeing him or dumped by him so she has less fear of consequences. However once I said I had significant evidence and I'll clear my name she sort of calmed down, 
but with her pattern she tries to regain control and manipulate the situation as much as she can. I'm wondering if she will continue acting more erratic and if it's part of the process. Update. I'm a betrayed spouse who has been dealing with a completely disconnected and dismissive soon ex-wife. It's been almost two months since the affair happened and I'm so done feeling this miserable. I've been working on myself and doing no contact with her. But all I've done is give her time to betray me and blindside me more. We don't live together but I have access to her locations and I see that she has seen him again more than likely and with him right now. A few days ago she became belligerent and started demanding a settlement in the divorce so I exploded and said I would expose her to everyone and contact her AP. She agreed to my terms but for how long? She became extremely defiant and went to see him the very next day after I haven't had evidence for a long time that she's seen him. The only reason I'm checking now is because I haven't in 40 days and didn't want to worry at all. But since legal things have come up I'm worried about what she's doing or seeing lawyers, which I discovered she got consultations. I just want her out of my life. I have a date with someone I met on Bumble tomorrow and I'm so anxious I'm wondering how I'll be able to talk to this new girl. I'm not even super into her I just don't want to be lonely right now. Update, for anyone following my story, here is an update and just for me to vent. It's been over two months since D-Day, April 27th. I'm going through with the divorce as I feel like I've been moving on in life. I've accepted that I haven't been happy in my marriage for a long time and desperately wanted to escape the marriage and her. I felt extremely lonely being married to her and could never truly trust her enough to have children with her or buy a house, or even a car for that matter. I was constantly miserable and detached any way I could, which in my case was making a great deal of money with my business which has enabled me to be financially free. I just could not see myself with her for the rest of my life because the differences had been so magnified with all the resentments I had towards her. I saw it as my responsibility to fix my part in the marriage once we hit crisis point but she destroyed that idea by having the affair. She was planning her exit for some time I found out. I have been working on myself the past two months, watching 100s of videos, tried marriage counseling, seeing a therapist two times week, built a home gym, laying out every day, eating healthy, I was balding, and fixed this issue and now have the same confidence when I was in high school again. I have been hooking up with different women and found a companion who has been giving me a lot of affection I haven't felt in years. I realized the loneliness and lack of affection was literally destroying me. Going on dates has boosted my self-esteem greatly and even though some people warn against this, I feel like I really need it but I'm not looking to get into a serious relationship. I'm a sensual person and the lack of sex in my marriage was also extremely depressing. Now I'm having sex sometimes for 2 to 3 hours straight. It's so much fun. I also lost 15 pounds and feel and look amazing. Just 4 months ago I felt like a cancer patient. About a week ago my wife reached out to me and called me asking about the divorce and what's going on. I said I was getting a paralegal to do the paperwork so I can file it. When she called I could tell she wanted to tell me something or ask me something but I said bye and hung up instead of letting her draw out the bye like she does to give me mixed signals. The day before this she made a Spotify playlist with breakup songs like Missing You I'm a Liability I Made a Mistake. After the phone call she emails me every few days asking when the divorce papers will be ready and she keeps on pressuring me it seems or being impatient about the date. She is being nice, but it seems like she keeps asking for updates or being pushy, I'm not sure. Me personally I want this divorce over with already, but she doesn't have anything to lose, and I have a lot to lose. Even though we came to a settlement agreement the court has to approve it, and I'm worried about it. I hired a paralegal who's going to do the paperwork because these lawyers around here just want to milk you for all it's worth and I don't trust those emphers, though I get free consultations from them. Anyway, I am convinced I won't get any sort of apology and I don't want to give her that. I also doubt she will try to come back or back out of the divorce. I wouldn't take her back anyway. I don't know if she's still seeing AP, but someone suggested the playlist suggests that he wasn't what she expected him to be. I know AP is using her only for sex based on the texts. It's gotten better but I still think about her daily in some form. I have no more tears left and I am seeing other people which has helped a lot to fill the void. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like our videos, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.